to get into it. Hey, welcome to Romance of Three Gamers. I'm Mike. And I'm John. And I'm Bob. You're not last this time. Damn right, I'm not. I was on the ball with that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Working myself to death to beat, you know, Bob and Pokemon eventually. Yeah. <laughs> now we're playing as the good general, Ding Fong. Who apparently lived a long time. He was also a dick. Was he? So was his brother, who was named exactly him. He was extremely arrogant. And so was his little brother, who was also named Ding Fong. Yeah. Uh, Ding Fong would just kind of like walk into the room and be like, Do you know who I am? I'm Ding Fong. Zhou so Fong would lure us to the great enemy of. You must fire when ready. Enemy Let's take the bases to the south of the castle. To the <laughs> that's the north of the castle. Fucking bored. No, that's the south of the castle, Mike. You're in a fort. Hope you don't get found out. Someone doesn't know that they're medieval ancient <laughs> weapon scenery singy wingies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure uh, no one knows. Oh, you're fucking up, man. You're not doing the coolest things where he goes like, ah. That's okay. I forgive you. I don't know that much about Ding Fang. I fucking love Ding Fong. I know. You should have been I don't Ding control Fong. Him be Zhou Tai. Yeah, but the problem is I end the game. I'm going to be ending the series because we always give ourselves the end. I don't control yeah. Ding Fong often, but uh, I but when I do, I Ding Fong. <laughs> Stay Ding Fong my friends. Hey, guys. Since they're all talking about Pokemon, uh, here's a joke for you. Who's Nikali's favorite Pokemon? Hound hour, 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 hour. <laughs> yeah. All my Street Fighter guys will get that. And if not, then you're not Street Fighter guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a fair guess. I mean, I would, does one not assume if one does not pick up on the jokes I am dropping? Man, I hope. I don't know how to feel about the Berserk game. I mean, I, I think I, it'll be interesting, but at the same time... Oh, I mean, I don't know how it's gonna... Because... I don't know. One Piece I like, but I'm not interested in trying out Attack on Titan, New Sal, or whatever it's called. I think it's just called Attack on Titan in America. Yeah, but I have no interest to pick that up. I kind of want to. Berserk. But you like Attack on Titan. Yeah, though. that's the difference. Berserk, I would, tr I might, but I want to know if I'll have a jump on. If I don't have a jump on, then I'll be like, oh, okay, it's like every other anime Musou game. They take out the jump button and replace it with, I don't know, Dash? I think it's Dash, yeah, that's what it does it for a lot. Yeah. Wait, you can block him in one piece. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying that instead of jumping... No, no, it's I was saying, yeah, and sometimes, Mike said of, sometimes they sometimes they take away block and they're just like, fuck it, you don't need to block. You need to dodge instead. Dodge! Oh, he's on the other side. He is the gate! Gohan, why didn't you dodge? Why <coughs> let me through the gate? Because you need to kill the gatekeeper who has fused himself with the gate. Oh, there we go! It's because you had to wait for... It just had to ride your horse at it. Oh, if Mike doesn't get this, it is going to just... It is going to, like... Destroy morale? Oh, he's going to be... Oh! Let's see if Mike... Uh, nope, not going to kill. Earthbending! So close, Mike. Oh, you got it. Got him. But did it... But here's the thing. Did it activate before? Much like the Autumn Breeze scattered. So too false to tend. They made it really poetic in this. Yeah, it's not really poetic in IRL. Oh no, you told me, he's kind of a jerk. Yeah, IRL. <laughs> IRL, man. IRL. A fire is broken out! South Shun! Yep, now. Doesn't he die in this battle? Who? South Shun? Yes. Who's Probably because so does they just Joe let him Pong. on fire. Who? So does Joe Pong. The guy who who causes this, he oh. also dies in this battle. He he literally Who's the one Sal we were talking about that is in this battle that's famous for? Um I remember we talked about him once. It's Sal Schwong, I think, because he's the one that basically the whole beginning of Jin is about. Oh yeah. How he screws up everything. 
But he's considered one of the best advisors at the beginning because he's one of the people that, uh, what's his face? Uh, Salpi? Oh, yeah, not Salpi, um, Jush, uh, Jun Yu offers up as like, here's some people who are not entire garbage. Guo Jia, Sima Yi, and, uh, this guy, Sao Shuang. Like, wait, Sao Shuang was that old? Yes. Because, remember, whatchamacallit, it, it's towards the end of his reign that he starts mentioning people. Because if you think about it, Sima Yi doesn't show up till Sure B. At the earliest. At the earliest. And... Yeah, that's because Guo Jia was dead by that time. Yeah. And Sao Tzu was really upset about it. If I had Guo Jia... Chang Sherby would have never happened the way it did. That's why the hypothetical is so ridiculous. Hi oh, guys! Oh yeah, where they just predict everything. Yep, every hypothetical route is essentially their first strategists are the best. Yeah, their they... strategist predicts everything. Let's and see. the opposing strategist apparently becomes a baby and can't figure things out. Yep, what is it? Uh, Let's attack from the left. Guo I already figured that out. Let's see, Guo Jia uh, figures out that Pang Tong is going to betray. He figures out the whole, you know, Sao Mao thing. Shu Shu is not going to be helpful at all. No. So. Oh, and you don't get to play as him either. He's just on Sao Sao side. Yeah. He's not. He's not gonna help you. So their big plan is, uh, what is it? They'll have him join. They'll capture him again, and have him rejoin. It's like, wait, what? Oh, let's not forget the other one. Uh, if you had Dn Way there, he would just keep the troops in line. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the ship's on fire! Don't freak out. Thanks, Dn Way. Pretty much. That's literally apparently all he would have done. And I remember because we were playing through uh, Wei, and Tata was saying yeah. that. If we made it here with Dia and Wei, these people wouldn't be as scared as they are now. Exactly. Or, you know, when I was doing Wu, and Zha Dun phased into the water, and... <laughs> yeah. If we make Zha Dun a river ghost, we'll be unbeatable. Uh, that's all they had to do to, to, to piss me off and make the match unwinnable. And then out of nowhere, Simigi to the rescue. <laughs> if I recall, isn't this one of the boards to get one of the secret weapons and it's kind of ridiculous because you have to beat, like, Xiao and Sure within X amount of time? Yep. You have to... You basically have to have everything succeed and then within that time you also have to rush off and kill some people. And it's like... Oh, trust me, man, I just... So that's not happening, right? <laughs> I just platinum Samurai Warriors 4 2. Some of those weapons were just like that. Yeah. And then, and then there were, like, conflicting messages. The one guy I watched, sometimes he would do it, and then sometimes he was dead wrong about what needed to be done. Like with, uh, Motenari Mori's. I didn't have unlimited time to get what I needed. I had an eight-minute time schedule to uphold, too. But considering I didn't have the DLC weapons, or, I, or, or the fact I hate Motenari Mori and his playstyle... Yeah, it's a little weird, but... I like having an officer in my army like him, if only because I wanted cool archers that weren't, uh, Ina. I think Motonari Mori is the only other person in the game who fires off a bow. Is he? It feels like he is. He, he has the hand crossbow. Yeah, I know, but no one else in the game shoots off a bow? I was looking in the, because I wanted, like, an archer in my army. So I was making custom characters. Yeah, most of them use guns at that point. Yeah, you're right. And, and Mori was the only other one who used a bow besides Ina. Uh, yeah, that actually sounds about right. Yeah. I don't know. By the end, such a strategy. Uh, by the end, I had everything I needed. The last person I got, the last weapon I got was a uh, Lady Ho Bayakawa's weapon. Bayakawa? Uh, yeah, Hayakawa. I got her weapon. Was the very last one at Osaka. You are perhaps the least friendly. Uh, you know what I do love about Samurai Wars? I made Wars? that a DLC campaign on Empires. What were you saying? You know what I love about Samurai Wars 4 2 Empire? I'm sorry, Samurai Wars 4 2. Or Samurai Warriors 4 in general. That partner system. That actually makes getting some of the rare weapons insanely easy. Or, you know, manageable. Oh, yeah, and it is kind of annoying when you capture an enemy officer who's awesome in Empires, and you put him in a. You know, you put him in a region. 
But then, he's not friends or relatives with anyone else in that castle, so if you pick him, and he falls, battle's over. No, I was, uh, I'm talking about the fact that, you know, unless the, unless the conditions are for specifically the character that gets the weapon to kill these people, you can technically play as the partner character who you can bring with you. Whoever so you, you can basically want. just be a Tadakatsu the um, Or someone. Actually, his weapon sucks in uh, the game because it doesn't up his speed. It just gives him fire. Yeah, wind. but I was just using that as an example. Yeah, as an example. Oh, right? you're, you're Neatora E. You know. Neomasa? Neomasa. Yeah, he gets a. Because we all well, remember I, that playthrough. Link yeah. should be somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Mike, get on that. Do have to annotate this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some health before I go in to fight some of you. You also got rage too, so don't forget that. Yeah, I, I, I got the rage. Combat. I just I don't want to have to use the rage. It's one of those like. Yeah, I try not to use the rage either. Now I'm on the bad side of John. <laughs> you don't be afraid to use the rage. Because guys, there is no peace. There is only passion. Well, passion. We makes can't you all be Sith lords <laughs> like you, okay? So you are Ding Fong. I'm voicing you at the same time I'm voicing Sima Yi. Go, Herbert? Kyle. Yeah, it's Kyle Herbert. Oh, cool. He's another one, I feel like. He I voices Ding time. Fong. He voices Sima Yi. He voices Shotai. He voices Shu Huang. And, yeah, he voices everyone except a other character, a Jin character. No, he voices everyone but an other and a Shu character. He's essentially in almost all the kingdoms. Whoop! I loved it when he had gauntlets. I don't like the gauntlets. I, I liked them, but that's just because I used them to make a, uh... Again, I used them to make a custom character based upon Virgo from Fairy Tale. Link not available. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's, a sh it's a manga about a guy who doesn't like to wear shirts. Similar to many like other manga, admittedly, but... Uh, it was cool in the beginning. It built a world, and I liked it. Then they did the time skip thing and oh. interdimensional travel. And this is the cutscene. Uh. His response to you know, am I emperor? Do I em am I worthy of emperor? Do I emperor? Is that recording game audio? Yeah, it's just really low. Oh yeah, you're right. Easy because it's there. I'm like. I just noticed, I was like, is that recording? Because if not, last two episodes. <laughs> yep. Kind of like when we played Bayonetta. I'd like to play Bayonetta. I'm not going to promise there's a link. Maybe Mike will be feeling really good. But we played Bayonetta. And we got through like half an episode without recording our audio. Yeah, I was happy about that. Because it was when I was furious. Best episode ever. <laughs> he was reverse happy about that. The f the tiger finally made a decision. About time! <laughs> Shit or get off the pot! <laughs> by a mighty ambition. Still, Apparently he's going to go on the pot. <laughs> I love his ending because this is the progressive ending of, hey, we exist as each three countries, we just, you know... No, that can't be. That can't I happen. Name myself not happen that crap. Would it be wrong to name myself Emperor? My Lord. Well, it's not an elected position, so I think you'll be fine. It is no longer worth. Wouldn't the Han Imperial Court have already been ruled by Sasa at this point? It would be Sao P who ruled it. You're right, because Sao Sao didn't want to depose the emperor. Yeah, he didn't care about that. And now it's Wu's turn to finally become an independent kingdom, last to form, last to fall. Does the word? Where are my tigers at? Last to form and last to fall. Yeah, but. You know. Is there any point in yeah. getting that title for myself? <laughs> yeah, you, like Mike's saying, Shu was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let, let's just stop and be honest here. Shu was awesome. Look up to you. Yeah, someone here keeps yeah, he, that keeps not. poking that tiger. You were you were falling apart even before the end. How it took you know Jin so long to figure out that they could just take you out instantly confuses me. Definitely. <laughs> Persuasive argument. I love the part that for some reason Soon Jian and uh Oh hello and, uh, oh those those awesome boobies. Right but no, what was it? I was thinking of 
Why is it that when they do the crossovers, or when they did in 3, how come it was Soonjian and, uh, what's his name, uh, the Lion of Sagami? Ujiasa. Ujiasa, because they both wear red. Okay. Uh, they're both, uh, you know, referred cats. to as cats. Yeah. Um, and their whole motif in the game is family. Yeah, you're right. Okay. That's that's the whole reason why they put them together. Then what about Liu Bei and Tokugawa? Because Koku Tokugawa, I almost guarantee you, was nowhere as near as benevolent as those games make him out to be. He wasn't. Uh, but they pretend like he is. Because he won. Yeah. They also pretend like, you know, he's like, oh, I'm some bumbling moron. And they're like, you're not a bumbling moron. Well, I felt the same way when I was watching uh, Naruto Shippuden. Uh. That frog that helps Jiraiya fight uh, pain was just like, fine, I'm clumsy, but I'll help you. And then all these, does all these crazy tricks with his Toshie. No, not Toshie. My Eidekeiji spear. And I'm just like, you're not clumsy, man. Don't beat yourself up like that. You're kind of awesome. I mean, yeah, Pain's gonna oh, kick your butt, oh. but... Ah, the oh, final no. battle. It rained yesterday. <laughs> I'm kind of <laughs> sad about it. Soon Alrighty. Ran. Well, that's the episode. Yeah, that's it. Uh, as always, guys, please like, comment, or subscribe, if you feel so inclined. Also, Use these pictures. What yep. It's up there. Also, please share these videos. It really helps out the channel. We update social media as much as we can. Links Facebook the... and Twitter links should be in the description below. Mike's reading the instructions I gave him. We'll talk about that later. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for another episode. We'll catch you next time on Bromance of the Three Gamers. Thanks for watching. Iki Tosen. Looks like a bear on his belt more than a tiger. Turrets. Awesomeness.